This video is brought to you in part by Patreon producers Cameron D, John Belf, and Ralph Nunez. If you'd also like to become a producer, head over to patreon.com slash 616 entertainment for more information. You won't regret it. Dan Nance, welcome to Let's Play Friday. My name is Ian, and this week we are playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the PlayStation. Now, right off the bat, this is the best version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Not the Nintendo 64 version. We're talking about the PlayStation version with the full songs. You know what I'm saying? And 64 kids back then didn't know what they were missing because they didn't realize they were missing all of the great songs. You guys got these little clips that would play over and over. You know what I mean? Big mistake. <laughs> so we're playing Tony Hawk 1, and uh, I'm playing through the career mode that I started in 2017, because I started replaying this game in 2017, just because I like it so much. Now, I am extremely rusty, so cut me some slack, but we are looking to get shit. We're not looking to get shit, we're looking to get fucking down and dirty, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, we're playing as Jamie Thomas, who is my boy. I always play as Jamie Thomas when I play Tony Hawk 1. Why? I don't know. When I was a kid, I think I was drawn to Jamie Thomas because he had long hair. Um, and I thought, like, man, he's got long hair. He looks like a wrestler. And then it turns out he doesn't have long hair. He doesn't have any hair. It's a hoodie. <laughs> he's wearing a hoodie with the hood up. But on PS1, on old school TVs, I couldn't even tell. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had no idea that that's what I was looking at. We are slip- Oh, fuck ass. I ruined it. The final- final trick of the run and I eat shit. Bust my head open. These judges- Pretty harsh ski, don't you think? 88? I thought that was a lot better than 88. <laughs> if you guys are thinking my voice sounds a little fucked up, you're right. <coughs> it's because I have strep throat. <clears throat> and you're all saying, dude, you are sick all the time. Why are you sick all the fucking time? Here's the deal. I don't know, man. <laughs> it didn't used to be like this. I was a very sickly kid. Uh, so sick that I had my tonsils removed when I was like six years old. Several doctors refused to take my tonsils out because I was so young. Um, but then I guess my family... That was fucky. I can't believe I landed that. I guess my family then finally found a doctor who was willing to do it because they realized it, it was good for my health to get them out. And still having my tonsils was indeed SHIT! It was indeed detrimental to me and my long-term health. Um, but yeah, after that, for years, I was not a sick kid at all. I actually was doing very well for a long time. But this past year and a half, dude, I can't fucking stay healthy. I feel like shit like most of the time <laughs> and it doesn't feel good so oh pull off that crazy shit right at the end uh, you can tell I'm kind of on the end of it now I'm feeling better than I have been by a long shot I woke up with a 93.4 how you doing I woke up with a 102 degree fever on Tuesday morning for seemingly no reason <laughs> and I called into work I couldn't come in I was fucked um, but then I went to work Thursday and Friday, which turned out to be a bad idea. You know? I just tried to tough it out. I didn't want to have to check out this transition. <laughs> I didn't want to have to miss work that much in one week. Fuck, I died. Um, so Friday I go in for my shift, and then I was like, guys, I'm leaving. I'm going to the fucking doctor. I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying in front of you as we speak. So I left my shift like 20 minutes early, worked like the entire day, and I go to the doctor, and I'm telling her what's up, and they gave me these tests and shit, and she's talking to me, and it's, I think she's under the impression that I like, just have some cold or something, and then she picks up the one test and she goes, oh, it's positive, positive," and I was like, uh, for what? Because, <laughs> you know, when you hear a test is positive, it's kind of scary. So, she was like, for strep. And I was like, oh, okay. That's not that bad. <laughs> I've, had, I've had strep before. I wasn't too worried about it. But here's the deal. I didn't know I could still get strep throat because I don't have tonsils. I thought I was safe. And that's not the case. She was telling me all this shit. You can get strep in your throat. You can get it in your fucking knees. You can get it in your back. 
Like, apparently, if you don't treat strep throat, it doesn't go away. It stays in your body, and it can... Yo, silver? We can do better. We can get the fucking gold. We ain't saving that shit. <laughs> She's telling me if you don't treat strep, it can stay in your body, and it can manifest itself as, like, like just stress. It can uh, force you to create ticks. Like, she said she knew somebody who her daughter developed a tick of, like, moving her head to the side and then rolling her shoulders. And her mom was like, what are you doing? And the daughter was like, what do you mean? Like, she didn't even realize she was doing it. And they took her to the doctor because they were like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but something's up. You don't normally do this. And it was strep. It's a weird fucking illness, man. Keep an eye out. Like, if you, if you think you have strep, go to the fucking doctor. Don't play. So I've been fucked up all weekend. My girlfriend has taken very good care of me, which I appreciate. God, I'm playing like shit. I don't even blame the illness. I just blame myself not paying attention. Fuck my asshole twice. Do you believe this? I'm playing like I have AIDS, not strep. <laughs> I was going to make a joke like no offense to people who have AIDS. But I think they have bigger problems than me making jokes about AIDS. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying dead. Well, the fucking replay starts off with me breaking my head open right in the beginning. Fantastic. We gotta end the competition. We can't... We can't turn in that run. That was no bueno, dog. But yeah, now that me being sick is out of the way, let's talk about all, some other stuff that's going on. Uh, the Def Jam Vendetta episode... What the fuck was that? <laughs> the Def Jam Vendetta episode of... Le uh, not Let's Play Friday. Of Triangle X Squared Circle will be going up July 15th, which at this point is now right around the corner. And let me tell you something. This is a little bit inside info. That video has been basically done for like two weeks now, except for my on-camera parts, which I was going to shoot this week but i definitely couldn't shoot him with how my voice was sounding and just how my face was looking i looked fucking horrible i looked gaunt i looked like a tim burton character <laughs> so now that i'm uh reaching the other end of this i can get in front of the camera shoot those spots and then that video will be a total wrap and it'll be ready to go for the 15th and i'm quite excited to put it out Damn, this isn't a good run either. Fucking shit. <laughs> I'm quite excited to put it out because there's a lot of uh, a lot of information in the beginning toward the SmackDown vs. Raw one. I'm kind of just like, yeah, SmackDown's fucking good. This was the sixth one. Let's talk about it. Where with Def Jam Vendetta, there's a lot to cover. We have to cover the WCW games, how WCW failed, the fact that Def Jam Vendetta was supposed to be WCW Mayhem 2, there's a lot to go into, so there's more of like a, I don't want to say like journalistic style. Fuck! I died. Got Tombstone. Um, I don't want to say like a journalistic style, but it's more of like a, a deep dive into the background of the game instead of jumping right into the gameplay. Which we get into the gameplay, don't worry. Don't get that part twisted. We're going to get into it, but... I'm excited to see how that part... Fuck! <laughs> Is gonna go over. You hear that rattling? That is my PS3 controller, my trusty gold PlayStation 3 controller. This controller is my baby. I may or may not have talked about it in last week's episode when I played Mortal Kombat 4. But it rattles like that because I don't know if it's because I dropped it. I don't know what happened. It's probably something I did wrong. But I can't believe I'm playing this poorly. It might be due to the fact that I still have a fever, and I'm, that's what I'm going to go with. Because this is a piss-poor performance, and I'm embarrassed that this is the video that's going to go live for Let's Play Friday. I'll tell you what, I did an episode of Let's Play Friday on this game in 2017. After this one, go back and watch that one, because I played way better <laughs> in that one. Again, I, I wasn't dying at the time I recorded that one, but still. Excited for my fucking... What am I going to learn that I... Hold on. Why Why is there a fucking ramp here if I can't go up it and hit that fucking rail? You know? Right off the bat, there's that dick tease of just like, Oh, why don't you get some speed? Hit this fucking rail. And then you can't. 
I almost went right out the goddamn window. That would have been great. <laughs> Just splat on the asphalt below. That would have been fantastic. That was ridiculous. Somebody called the fucking cops on that trick. That shit should have been illegal. We gotta get some combos going here, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is Tony Hawk 1, so we don't have any fucking... We don't have any manuals. We just gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> with gr combining grinds with shit. Like, check this out. I got an idea. Oh! Oh, that didn't work at all. I tried to do my special off of that grind. But, uh... I was too late. I ran out of special. <laughs> this is the best run, but it's not going to be enough. We're going to get bronze, I think. We're in first place, but I don't think we did all that well. Go that was gold? That was not a gold performance. Get the fuck out of here. We're not going to save that. We're going to go to a different level. One of my favorite levels. One of my most fun... One of my most fun levels? That doesn't make any sense. That sounds like I created the level. But I didn't. Burnside, Portland. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about good levels? Burnside, Portland. You know what I'm saying? We already had first place here. But that's okay. We're going to get first place again. Because this level is tricky dicky. And there is stuff to do in every corner. And it starts off crazy. Like you see right there. I didn't even mean to do a grind right there. You know what I'm saying? The, the universe just willed that onto me. <laughs> this eyeball bowl is fuck! <laughs> it's not fuck. This eyeball bowl is so goddamn cool. Now, we need more air if we're going to try to combine two tricks into one. That was a that was a rookie mistake. Benny Hanna, switch it up. Into a fucking method. How about an indie nose bone wrapping around? Oh, I fucking I spun just a little too far. Guys, we're gonna get it together. We're gonna make this count. Shout out to Sab Warfare. Do I know who that is off the top of my head? No, but I appreciate you. <laughs> oh man. Fuck it! We got 374 points. Congratulations. Dude. I picked a bad time to do a Let's Play Friday episode on this game. If I was going to do an episode on Tony Hawk again, I should have brought my fucking main shit. And I'm not. And I'm letting you all down. But you know what's not going to let you down? Is the 616 Entertainment Podcast. Which you can listen to on SoundCloud and the Apple Podcast app. Every week, every Wednesday, in fact, a brand new episode goes live. We've had so many guests on the show. We've had professional wrestlers like Matt Nix, Chris Castro, Stevie Fierce, G Raver, Sean Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? We've had video game personalities like Colin Moriarty, Kevin Coelho, Alpha Omega Sim. We've had Hollywood actors like David Liebehart from Tim and Eric's Awesome Show, which I'm not kidding about. I don't know what happened right there. That was some crazy shit. Let's go in to this spot over here to get some air into it. Oh, I tried to add a little kickflip there and it didn't work. But that probably did me a favor by it not working. Get off of this line. Turn around, turn around, turn around. We don't have time to end this the way I wanted to. So let's just throw in a special! Every time I try to do a special, I fuck it up. Horrible performance. But yeah, you can listen to the 616 Entertainment Podcast every week. It's a fun show. It's a fun show! <laughs> <clears throat> we have new guests and whatnot every week. We've done almost 280 episodes now. We've been doing that show a long time. We've been doing that show for like six years. And one thing I have to get used to is saying that you can listen to the podcast on SoundCloud and the Apple Podcasts app. Because for the longest time, I could say iTunes. But I told somebody iTunes recently, and they were like, oh, yeah? Because Apple's getting rid of iTunes. And I'm like, dude, what, do I have to fucking adjust the way I say that now? Thanks a lot, Apple. Sons of bitch. We got to try and get some fucking points here. We're already going to score quite poorly, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Christmas. Am I just, am I too cocky? 
I'm I'm over rotating on everything. I've I can easily get some 720s here, and I'm going for 900s. I'm trying to turn my 540s into 720s. This is one of those learning curve games where, you know, not to toot my own horn, but fucking beep beep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bad at this game when I'm warm. See, I'm trying to turn everything into more. <clears throat> I'm just not performing up to par. We're putting fours. 49 on the board. This is Let's Play Friday. I'm playing like this is Let's Jerk Off Thursday. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Seventh place. We're gonna restart. I shit my pants in Ohio for sixth place. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I think I'm running a fever. <laughs> Let's try and get some points here. Let's try and not overdo everything. Like, check it out. Look at that. Stop it. Smooth. This one. Oh, I tempted fate just a bit. But we got away with it. 540, 360 flip. That's a mouthful. We got to regain our bearings here. Now we're going to do a little bit of this with a kick flip, and we pulled it off for a 720. Get out of. Oh, well, I, I wanted to get out of the bowl, but that didn't work. We're putting together some top notch shit here. Can we keep the run alive? Let's do a kickflip into a 540 flip. You bet your fucking ass we landed that. But then we we died to death <laughs> on that 720 Japan Air. But can we salve it? Nope. <laughs> I tried to pop up into a nice grind there. Get a combo going to salvage it, but it was not to be. <clears throat> Where are we at? Where's that going to place us? Third place. Can we do better? Maybe not today. <laughs> but we're going to try our god damnedest. That's for sure. Get back into the bowl with the transfer in the Japan Air. Combos are the name of the game. And as I say it, the indie nose bone I tried to add to that. Oh, it did not quite compute. See, a lot of people like the late, later Tony Hawk games better, and they're definitely better, you know, from a gameplay perspective, from a level design perspective. For the first three, I would say, each Tony Hawk game was better than the one that came before it. But I have such a soft spot for Tony Hawk 1, that was nice, but I've done those tricks too much. I have such a soft spot for Tony Hawk 1, that it's hard for me to fuck with with the other games, you know? Damn! I felt like I did a lot there and we still wound up with 15,000 points. I stopped doing commentary because I was in the zone. I was like, we got this. But I played like fucking shit. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to believe that I can do better than this. <sighs> and I hate to say it, but I think this is going to have to be another kind of short episode of Let's Play Friday. Because I'm sitting in my chair right now recording this, and I am burning the fuck up. I feel horrible. <laughs> I need to turn this off as soon as possible and go back to bed. <laughs> but I can't miss an episode, you know? Take this shit too seriously to be missing episodes. It drives me up the fucking wall. When people are just like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm going to do this thing. I have a podcast now. And they do like three episodes and then they miss five in a row. They're like, I've been busy. It's like, fuck you, dude. Either do it or don't. Commit to it or don't. Don't do one episode and give up and be like, nobody was listening. Who gives a shit if anybody's listening or watching? Do it because you want to do it. And if people want to tune in, you're fucking lucky. You're one of... You're one of very few that gets any attention. Do you know how many really good, really talented people are out there that nobody's ever heard of? A lot. Holy fuck. What do we got? Fourth place. That's still dog shit. Let's fuck around on one more level. 
And then I'm either going to blow my brains out due to how poorly I'm playing, or I'm just going to take a nap. One of the two. We're going to go back to the original, the first level any of us ever saw. I got all those tapes. You know what I'm saying? And if you go, if you rewind a few seconds and you look at that, you can see how far I am and how many tapes I've got. I'm playing like shit right now. That's a fact. But I don't always play like shit. <laughs> if I was feeling any better, I would seriously not even air this and just record one later in the week and just hope that I'd play better. Because this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, my fucking asshole. Like, every time. Fuck it, you know what? We're gonna land the 900. That's, that's what I keep going for anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. This run, the goal right now, we can't end Let's Play Friday until we land a 900. And I feel like a tail grab is the move to do it with. Ah, oh, fucking shit. That was close, though. That wasn't bad, right? You know what else isn't bad? You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Not the 616 Entertainment Podcast, but the other videos that are on this channel. There are a series of shows on this channel that you guys have probably not gone back and watched. You know what we should talk about? Top 5 with Sal Melendez. And I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, because I probably shouldn't. But Top 5 with Sal Melendez was something completely different that I started doing in 2014. It was this character that I created years prior, named Sal Melendez. I created a, his own show for him. It was a top five show, where he would, the plot was basically like, some network asked him like, you know, can you rank the top five vacation spots in the United States? And Sal would get the script and be like, this subject is bullshit, I'm gonna do my own show. And it was a scripted comedy show where I played this character, Sal Melendez, and it is the dumbest bullshit you will ever see. The whole idea is that it's like extremely low budget. Like Sal put no fucking money or effort into the show at all. So how terrible it is. Look at those top scores I have up there. That's the proof that I'm not a dog pile of shit. I just scored 21,000 now, but I got 64 up there. You better believe it. Retry. Let's keep playing because I'm talking about top five. <laughs> Like, the, the first episode he did, because he didn't like the studio's pitch, was Top 5 John Travolta hairstyles. And I don't know what made me want to start doing that show. I think I was just like, that was fucking sick. <laughs> Had to draw attention to that real quick. I think I was just like, you know what, I want to do something different. At the time, we were doing all of these, um, like, script, or not scripted, all these... Oh, dude, that was a 900. Suck my balls. <laughs> we were doing all these uh, conversational shows on the channel at the time. And I was like, I want to do something different, dude. I want to do a scripted comedy. And some of the best episodes are Top 5 Batman. And it's like, what does that mean? Is that ranking the top five people who have played Batman? No, it's the top five things that... Sal Melendez thinks of when he thinks of Batman. <laughs> like, one of the one of the things is he just tells a story about this kid he knew, or something like that. I don't really remember. I have not watched them in forever. I ended that show at the end of 2015, which is crazy to think about. So if you see in, uh, I think it's the last episode, or last second to last episode of the History of Smackdown, you can see those posters behind me of a guy who looks like me in weird outfits. It is me, because I was playing Sal Melendez at the time. And those were drawn by my friend, the very talented Lydia Caranda. You know what I'm saying? She's fantastic. Um, she's legit a professional artist, and for every episode of season two of Top 5, I uh, hired her to draw a poster. Because <laughs> I wanted every episode to feel special. 900 switch tail grab! Get the fuck out of here! You know what that was? That was the power of Sal Melendez that just made that happen. <laughs> Big time, dude. Oh, man. I feel good now. That's... Fuck it. That's Let's Play Friday. We land a 900 switch tail grab. We talked about Sal Melendez and the fact that I'm dying. Let's put a fucking high score in there. Dan Nance, I love you. I'll see you next week.